Okay, uh, hello guys, this is, uh, Kopuffer's Redstone tutorial. Today I'm gonna be going through the altered toy storage room. I didn't, this build isn't, like, uh, originated by me, but I took the build, uh, made it more efficient, just in, in general, just made it better. So, uh, the credits are in the description. Uh, but, so let's get to some explaining. Okay, so uh, the first thing first, the first thing you need to know before doing this build is uh, what hoppers and comparators can do with each other. Okay, so um, let's say let's go to my career if you are. Okay, so slot lookers. Well, let's let's get that last. Okay, let's get that last. Okay, so if you have a block, just one block, in a hopper next to a comparator it will power one block of redstone uh, and then the more blocks you put in the more it can power Like, uh, say there's one to go up to two blocks of redstone powered you have to go up to 23 I think so if I just put 23 in quickly 22, 23, ok so that's 23 and so on so on so on, it will just, it'll just keep going up more and more redstone Okay, so we can use this. So if we use slot lockers, if we put that in there. This adds up to twenty-one or over. Okay, yeah, twenty-one. Uh, what we're we doing? Okay, so if I put two in, then it will go up to because there's twenty-three blocks inside the hopper. It will cause another block of redstone to go on. If I take it away. It won't. It will cause it to go off. Okay, so as soon as it breaks that threshold, it will add another block of red uh, redstone power. Okay, so that's what slot lock lock lockers are used for. So you can filter something. Like say you only want red wool to go in, you have the slot lockers, and that they're, they're not going to get filled by anything, and then the red wool will just get filled by more red wool. Okay, so the first way we can use this method like whatever, uh, is with this uh, so basically if you have a redstone torch powering a hopper or any kind of redstone powering a hopper it will uh, it won't let any anything come out of the hopper okay like no nothing is able to come out of the hopper if there's red if there's a redstone powering it so basically there's a threshold of 22 again because we've got a redstone uh, piece up here so if that redstone piece gets powered, the torch will turn off and it will let one object out of the hopper because uh, the, it will get unpowered as soon as that object goes out. It will get powered up again, sorry. So let's say I put, let's uh, do this so you'll be able to see. Uh, there, okay, right, so we I see the torch here, you can see, uh, yeah, okay, let's put one light blue one in. Okay, the torch went on and it went out. Let's put two. Let's, let's just put a stack in and see how it goes. So, uh, yeah, it carries on decreasing and it goes into the chest as you can see. And the torch is still off because it's still got over over the threshold. As soon as it gets down to one, uh, to one light blue, it will stop filtering. It will stop getting rid of it. So, um, this is a really efficient way just to filter items. Like, you can get people to like throw in, like, oh, okay. The the payment is the payment method is one blue light blue wool. But say you haven't got light blue wool, oh, okay, you can't buy it then. You can't like put another item in and substitute. Uh, you can only put light blue wool in. Okay, and then you can have like an output on the end of it, so, like give them giving them an item. Um, another technique, basically another way of doing that is this way. So we got a hopper here. This is ha this is the technique used in this system here. We've got a hopper here. Two seconds. Okay, we've got a hopper there. We've got a comparator. We've got redstone, redstone. If this got redstone goes to two, it'll power this block and cause that redstone repeat re 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 repeated to go on. Sorry, uh, causing that redstone to power this torch off that a torch goes off it will then cause this piston to retract 
causing that to be pushed out and that to be pulled in. Uh, make oh, you'll you'll see the process if I do this. All right. If I just throw one jungle plank, I think it is. Might even be spruce. Let's have a look first before I put it in. Oh no, it's spruce. Sorry. All right, so it's spruce plank. So if I throw one of them in, uh, I think I think the threshold needs two of them to go in, and it would drop out too. Okay, see, it switches around, it makes... Sorry, I forgot about something here. There's supposed to be a minecart with a chest in it, sorry. Okay, so, basically, that will happen. Let's do that again. Okay, so the minecart chest gets elevated. It, m it allows the hopper to drop it into the minecart chest. And it will go down again. It will put all the stuff that was in the minecart chest into the hopper down there and into here so there's four spruce planks so basically that's just uh, what's used in this system and that's how it filters things so it uses spruce planks to filter it it's, it's got okay so the reason why it's got a lower threshold is because it uh, when when using pistons and stuff like that it um, it makes it so more items come out of the uh, item hopper so it will take two out if you have a delay of one up here so if I change that to that and did it again it, it might take three out so if I try it now it, might, it may... Uh, okay okay so it goes off let's have a look yeah see now I've only got one left in there see that's not that good it, 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 the less that it takes out the better because then um, th the less you need to be able to activate it. So you also you can put any even number in, and it will go. If you put an odd number, it might not fit. That's just how it is. Just go like that, I guess. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, the method of transport transporting the blocks, transporting the blocks. Sorry, uh, up. It's not really needed. I mean, it it. Would be, it to be honest, it would be more efficient if uh, we use just hoppers that, like, uh, droppers that go up, and it will take um, the arms up to here and then dispense them out here. This is really just like for looks and just to make it cool and stuff like that. So uh, the way this works, um, right, okay. So basically, the block gets dropped out from the initial start point. Okay, that like the redstone powers this thing goes into that repeater, activates this dispenser that has items in it. The block gets dropped out. It goes along here. I think I just messed it up. Yes, I did because I picked up a block. Let's just uh, give a bit more casing so I don't, can't pick up blocks through the wall. Um, let's do that quickly. Okay, that should do. Um, so block gets dropped out. You start this up again. It will go on this this uh, trip wire here. It will power this again, and it will just drop another block out. And it, that process repeats. It goes on, 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 and yeah. So that's what happens there. And then this trip wire, the, this trip wire hook also activates this. Basically, just makes a longer pulse, uh, causing this to be perfectly timed from when the block goes over the tripwire till the block gets to here. Like it will release just as the block gets to this point here. Just in time for it to fall in and then get pushed out. So, so this, this uh, glass thing, if you're wondering how it works, it is actually, it's, it's not hollow, it's, it's a solid block. I've made an example of this over here. Okay, so uh, it's pretty scruffy, I know, sorry. But let's uh, just throw Let's throw a block in, a few blocks in there. Let's throw some spruce planks. Oh, God damn it! Sorry. Okay, spruce planks in there, right? Okay, let's let's fill it up. So it's really condensed. The piston will push that glass into the into the uh, entities. The entities will get pushed into this smaller condensed area, the one the one block condensed area. And then the piston will push it up, and it will literally just have no room. So it will just go up. It won't find the closest like spot next to it it will just go up and it will just rise and it will ride through all the blocks and get to the top so if I uh, press this lever here I 
that's exactly what it would do. It'll go up and it'll be at the top there. Okay, so that's how it works. Basically, that glass is pushing the entities and that glass is pushing the entities up and making them trap so they have to rise. And that's how that works. And then all the stuff that you saw before uh, using this thing here. Basically, that's just transferred into loads of loads of uh, loads of them, pretty much, and um, it's exactly the same thing. For instance, uh, this one would be light blue wool. This one's pink wool, cyan wool, brown wool, etc. Okay, so yeah, that's that's how that works, and um, and then obviously behind that there'll be more and more, and it'll keep. Uh, like basically it will just follow a path where it goes there, it comes around here, it goes in here, comes around here, it goes in there, goes around there. And if there's any blocks left over at the end, it'll uh like obviously there there the blocks that are left over would be blocks that don't fit in any of these. They're not obviously a colour of wool or something like that. They're just a random block. They'll go into this one, come down, they'll go into this hopper and they'll just fall down into the chest with uh, loads of random items. So, uh, yeah. So it's a great product, really. It's really good. It's well built. I don't know why they're in there. I think Salem must have died on top of the thing or something that fell in. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all. Hi guys, you should um. Hi guys, you should uh, come check out our server. It's uh, there's, there's no whitelist. You can just go on as long as you obviously have a Minecraft account. If you're not using the correct account, the correct version of Minecraft, you can come on.